Despite the falling unemployment rates in many states, more than 9 million Americans don't have jobs. But companies across the country say they're still having a hard time finding workers, qualified ones. So what's going on? Labor experts call it the skills gap. State officials trying to lure businesses call it an opportunity. Scott Cohn has the story from Fremont, California. It's no accident that Tesla's main vehicle factory is in Fremont, California, in the San Francisco Bay Area. This place has it all. It is this unique place where you have a combination of a manufacturing workforce at the ready, but also a high technology workforce at the ready. There are auto workers from the GM and Toyota plant that used to be here, and tech talent from Silicon Valley nearby. And when the company was deciding where to build its new $5 billion battery plant, it followed the same formula. Nevada won that competition, and it wasn't the one and a quarter billion dollars in incentives from the state that sealed the deal. A lot of the assurances we got were, if you come and you invest here, we'll definitely have the workforce for you. We are used to building things quickly, building things fast, and we have the workforce available for you uh, as far as manufacturing jobs go. This voracious appetite for people is not lost on the states, at least the most competitive ones. Instead of just using taxes and incentives to lure businesses, they're touting their workforces like never before. We analyzed all 50 state economic development websites and found that for the first time since we began keeping track in 2007, workforce is the most frequently cited selling point. It used to be business costs, like low taxes and utility bills. Melissa Ehlinger, who makes the pitch to bring businesses to New Orleans, says the key is matching the workforce with the needs of businesses. Traditionally, workforce has been sort of supply side driven, thinking about the individual. And what we're doing in the economic development profession is sort of flipping the switch on that and saying, we need to focus on the demand side. What is it that industry needs? And then tailor our education and training programs accordingly. Everyone seems to agree on that, including Congress, which last year overwhelmingly approved a complete overhaul of the nation's workforce development policy, the first update in nearly 20 years. It's badly needed. Even with millions of people out of work, one recent study found half the employers surveyed had open, skilled jobs that they couldn't find anyone to fill. Scott Cohn, Nightly Business Report, Fremont, California.